Schatten sehen. Hallo. Hiya. Welcome to a very windy uh, Thames Estuary. And this is our Christmas special. I uh, hope you all had a very good Christmas. Uh, we're in between Christmas and New Year, so we thought we'd come out and do a festive uh, hard luck. Yeah, it's very windy, so I apologise for any wind noise. Um, we've had uh, Storm Garrett, 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 Garrett yeah, recently, a couple of days ago. Um, so we've had a super high tide down here. Um, has changed the beach since we last been here again. There's a mudlarker down there at the moment. So yeah, let's see what we can find. Hopefully some good stuff. Come with us. Little volcanite lid there. Don't know if it's got a pattern on it or not, I can't really tell. Thought it was a coin, got well excited. But no. How exciting. I love it here. Nice find, uh, first find. It's a piece of baker like that. Mm. Got some writing in. It's prob probably an electrical covering. Oh, Jackie's found a nice lid straight away. Oh, it was a coin. Lots of bone. Lots of coke and coal. I'm just looking for metal vines at the moment down the bottom here. It's an old cap. I did uh, find some military badges down this area last time. Well, one time we were here. Lots of bone. Maybe bone disc. What's left of one? spotted any beads which is unusual. What's that? No, oh, it's just part of a handle. Looked interesting, didn't it? I'm sure the beads are here though. They always are. It's a great beach for beads. First little find, well proper find. A little arsenic bottle. They're quite unusual to be whole down here because of they're quite fragile around this bit. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a chip there. But that's a good start. Show Doug, but I probably won't take it because we've got quite a few of them. Leave it for someone else. Good job. Nice little uh, milk glass face cream jar there. Screw top, it's not that old. Nice little one now, I don't think we've got one like that, but it's not something I'm going to take. So I'll leave that for somebody else. I just spotted this in... what's that? Ooh. Oh, paper disc. I've just spotted this interesting looking bottle here. Yeah, that... Is it a bottle? It's an interesting looking piece of glass. Oh, that's a nice little bowl. Yeah. I just see the remains of a label on there. Nothing on the bottom. Here's a screw top. A nice little bowl, that. I won't be taking it. I've got way too many bowls. I'll leave that up on the bank for someone else. of whole bottles about this time but they are a bit more recent than we would like I think I found a little seal lead seal I have to clean that up at home see if I can get any detail for that I have some age to it that one Definitely lead. Yeah, interesting. We'll have to see what that comes out as. Well, there's a something. Yeah. Two eyes on it. It might have been a 
a dress hook or clasp for clothing not an old one likely Victorian it's a bit of willow pattern there quite flat so I assume it's going to be a plate yeah looks like it lots of broken stuff You never know, there might be something whole amongst it all. Keep on looking. Part of an eye there. Glass eyelet. Jackie's just had a couple of bits of pipe stem. Damaged, I'm afraid. But definitely part of an old Teddy's eye or doll's eye. Eye eye. Still cool. I might have a coin down there. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Very encrusted, what it is, whatever it is. I'm not sure. Might be a lid of something. It doesn't look like a two part button. I'm not sure what that is. But... Tiny little. That was a nut. I thought it was a little eyelet of some sort. Yeah, yeah unsure. Look down and saw this one. On those endy thingies, and then I saw here. Look in here. I pick it up with my gloves on. Lovely blue bead. Nice faceted one. Funny how you look for one thing and then find something else. Lovely. That's the first collar stud, slightly damaged. Very wonky, it's probably been in the, near the fire. First colour stud. I just saw this and flipped it over my stick and I'll show you. Look at that. Wow. That is an old girl guide badge, so it's the clover. I believe. That's a nice little find. I wonder if I can find that exact same badge online. I'm not sure I've seen them with enamel on before. Maybe it's a badge of a different sort. I should find out when I get home. Yeah, pleased with that. After doing some further research, this badge turned out to be a Primrose League badge. It's a yellow Primrose. Now the Primrose League was an organisation that was founded in 1883 and it was mainly an organisation for spreading conservative principles in Great Britain. Britain. At its peak in 1910, it had over 2 million members, but after the Second World War, it declined rapidly and was finally disbanded in 2004, after 121 years of existence. An interesting little badge. Little old sauce bottle there. Ew. Still got confidence. Bit of a crack there. It's nice to see there's still some whole bottles down there. Maybe a bit of pottery. Might take that because of maybe I had to cut that out. Oh, and Doug's just find a big pipe stem. Got a big piece. Yeah. Pretty. Interesting little piece of crockery there. Looks like it's got the word key as Q U I and then something else. If anybody's seen one of those before, hole, oh, you know what it is, let me know. Ah, lovely colours. Bottle here, look, nice aqua bottle. It's intact as well. That's a really nice bottle. I'm not going to take it though, so I'm going to stick it up on the bank for somebody that will want that and appreciate it. Lovely colour. That's mad. 
wind's blown it and making it hum. Have a lovely bit of blue and white there. Oh, the bottle diggers have been busy. I'm pretty sure that bit wasn't there last time we came. Let's have a look to see if anything special's been washed out of the spoil heap. I think I can see a big pickle jar in the dirt up there. A little paint pot there, I think. See if we can find something then. Nice old drinking flask left behind there. Another one there. That... I do like those, They're nice bottles. And yeah, you can see stuff just appearing in the this big pickle jar there. Look. Broken. Nice old beer bottle there. Oh, that's nice. That's an old pop bottle. I think a little bit of a wipe, see if there's anything else on it. Don't think there is, it would have had a big label there. Nice pattern on it though. But again, not taking bottles today. Pick this up. Look, it's got a little seal on the inside. Isn't that cute? That's the maker's mark. JG. Or GJ. I think it's JG because the J's on the top. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to take it with me, but I might try and research that when we get home. Lovely. Oh, wow, look at this. Chemists, mineral water manufacturers since 18, hang on, 1825. That would have been an amazing piece of glass. It's acid etched. What a shame, what a lovely piece. Pickle jar there. Lots of blue white. Just found a nice little medicine vial and a little clay bead. It's flat on the bottom, so I'm guessing it's out of baking rather than anything else. It's not something I want to take home though, but nice finds anyway. Leave that for somebody else. Pop it there. The obligatory paste jar. It's not mud luck unless you find a paste jar. Well, this looks interesting. Uh, might be a coin. I don't know, it's very light. Gonna have to be another one for a clean up that one. Yeah, not sure. Another whole little chemist bottle there. A bit of a pipe bowl there. Amongst all the bones. Nice to find a whole one. I don't think I found a whole one here yet. Just bits of one. That was just in this little area here. Keep having a scrape. A piece of kiln furniture. Intact that one. 
my first piece of pipe stem. I'm trying to keep my eye out for beads. I want to find a bead. I like finding beads. I don't know what that is. Nothing special. I think I found a human tooth. Very bad condition human tooth. Looks like a molar. You. Found an old crane wheel. There's something else here, but I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a lead tube. Probably an old toothpaste tube. <sighs> we did find a load of um, lead toys down here at one point. We got that bad, we got bored of picking them up. Of course. Can't go anywhere without finding paste jars. Right, let's carry on looking. Have I finally find, found a bead? And if it is, it's going to be a nice cranberry bead. Or is it just a piece of glass? Oh no, it's actually a gemstone. Look. Oh, that's nice. Well, wouldn't that be nice if that's a real ruby? I don't think it is though, it's probably just glass. But still, nice little find. Wow, it's me complaining that I wasn't finding any beads, I just found that gemstone and there's another little bead down there. It all seems to be in this strip of rusty metal. Nice blue faceted bead. I'm happy now. <laughs> nice. You know when you get to a spot and you're sure that you're going to find something, you can just tell. Look at this. Found a pearl. Isn't she beautiful? I don't know if it's real, but I found a pearl. And I always forget to look right by my feet. I don't know if anyone else does that, but and I can see something else here. I don't think it's anything. It's a nice shape. Looks like it's the end of a stopper. It's ceramic. I'm really pleased with that. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Need to stop a bit of thing out there, window. Look if there's anything else. I knew it was a lucky spot and I don't know why. I can't see anything offhand, but I'll come back to you if I do. Another quick look. Yeah. Alright, another nice find down here, look. There's a little jet button. I don't know if you can see the detail on that, but it's some lovely work on it. Oh, I found one of these earlier and I just found another one. So probably a little bit of a dress up. Oh my god, that is the thinnest button ever. Little mother of pearl. I'm not sure that's going to make it home, that's probably just going to fall apart, but we'll have a go. All hiding in between, it's really getting your eye in. And there's so many things that take your eye away, there's bits of paint, there's some really beautiful coloured glass, and look at this. Some really pretty pieces and they, they catch your eye and you think you've found something. that was something but it's just a bit of pottery right if I find anything else you know what it's going to be I'll come back to you 
There's another piece of kiln furniture. Again intact. Normally they've got a leg missing. There's a cotton ruin that's been left. Oh, still got a label on that one. Nice cotton roo ink. I like the last person. I'm going to leave it for someone else. Well, I normally find lots of these in glass, but very seldom do you find them in pewter. It's a uh, base of a goblet or a glass. Well, it won't be glass, but drinking vessel. Yeah. Normally we find them glass. So that one's a bit different. That's interesting. Looks like an old decorsing hook. Which also looks like a crochet hook. But it looks like it's... Hang on. It's wooden. Oh my goodness. What a lovely find. Normally there'd be metal, so that's obviously old. Doug will be interested in that. I'll show him when I might catch up with him. He's all the way up there. Because I slower than him. Oh, I like that. That's just a stone. There's lots of round stones. It's really annoying. Yeah, how cool. That's a nice old earlier pot there. Shame it's broken. Quite an early one that. Could be like 1840s maybe. That would have been a nice find. There's a bottle with a gauge on there but it doesn't say tablespoons. It's a nice bottle. All right, I'm just having a scrape about in here at the top of the beach. And there's a old sauce bottle. Big old ink bowl. Maybe Swan or Parkers. We'll look, see if we can see. It's a Swan ink, I think. This little bowl. And a little bovril. But this just came out. It's a little iodine bottle, look. Volcanite. Jackie's just had a vulcanite stopper. She's scraping the other side on the beach. Trumax. Who? Trumax, it looks like. Trumans. No. F R U M A. Oh, Trumans. Trumans. <laughs> yeah, but a nice little iodine bottle here. Oh, actually, I think this one's embossed, which is unusual. All right, let me have a clean up with that and I'll come back to you. All right, it's had a little clean up. And it's an aqua one, which is rarer. And it says not to be taken on it. So it's a nice little poison. I am super pleased with that. A lovely little bottle. Yep, definitely going in the bag, that one. <laughs> 